Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to go over different ways of creating functions in JavaScript. The first way most people probably use is the, the function keyword. So you type that in, and you type the name of the function, you use the brackets, and whatever goes inside the message that's going to be called. So we just define a function, and in order to call it, we just call it by its name. This is the name of the function we defined. So let's see what happens. I'm going to run it in JS Fiddle. And we're getting this message, message that's exactly the text that we typed into the alert box. So that's the first way of creating a function. The second way, let me just make this, um, put it in there. <laughs> the second way is I'm going to demonstrate how to create a nameless function and in order to do that all you have to do is just type the keyword function and go like this as you can see it's exactly the same as the first example except there's really no name so what would be the purpose of such a function well for example in jQuery let's say we selected a couple of divs and jQuery has a method called each so you go like this, and what you use here, the method each takes a nameless function. So what you're going to use here is a nameless function, and whatever goes in here is going to repeat itself the number of times equal to the number of elements that was selected using this selector. So as you can see, the function doesn't really have a name, but you can still use it in, in this way by passing it to each or some other function. Okay, next, next, um, we're going to create a function using the function constructor object. And it's done uh, like this, uh, func, func to new function. So what we did here is it's the same as if we're just creating any object in JavaScript, say object new object, or even date, new date. So what's happening here is that we're using all these different constructor names and when we create an object with an object constructor it just creates a plain JavaScript object. There's nothing there in it. It's empty. Date. Date is going to use the native JavaScript constructor object. There's some functionality already attached to it so you can use methods on right on this uh, object after you create it with date. When a function is created, you're basically creating a new function. And like any other, it can be called in the same way as we um, saw here, the first example. So it's the same thing. It created a function just using a different way. We use the function constructor. There's one interesting thing about creating a function using the uh, function constructor. As you can see, we did not define function's name. So at this point, it's really a nameless function. It kind of has a name. Uh, this by itself will create a nameless function. But now that we assigned it to func2, now it has a name. So uh, hopefully that makes sense. In other words, without func2, all we're doing really, we're creating a nameless function. And once this object is created, we assign it to a name, and that's the only reason it has a name. But by itself, the function constructor creates a nameless function, just like in this example. And this brings us to the next um, way of creating a function. func3 equals function nameless function. So it's kind of an interesting way of creating a function, a nameless function, but then we assign it a name, so it becomes a named function. Alert func3. So what's going to happen if I call this uh, func3? It's going to work exactly as the other ones. Let me just clean this up. And let's do that. 
So as you can see, it's the same thing. It's, it was a nameless function, but it became a named function after we assigned a name to it. And it works just like any other function. One more interesting thing about uh, creating functions as using function constructor. Like this, is that we can pass the actual body of the function into the constructor. Alert high. And then let's see what happens. Func5. Run. And again, we got this alert message saying alert high. So basically, what we just did is the same thing as. As something like this alert high and again it's the same thing it's gonna do the same thing um, the point I'm trying to make here is that when you create an object uh, when you create a function using function constructor object you specify the body in here when you create a name nameless function you can just um, you specify here as as you would in any other function and it's really it's creating exactly the same thing anyways it's just a different way of creating a function and here's a last example of using a function constructor new function so in a previous example we uh, specified the body of the function within this string. But what's interesting is that a constructor function takes as many parameters as you want, A, B, C, and the thing is they go, they always go before the body. And it can be any number, it doesn't really matter, it could be C, D, E, F, as, as many as you need. They're just specified in a backwards way. There's a reason for that, but in other words, uh, the natural way of, of thinking about this is would be you know, to specify the body first and then the parameters. Well, that's not how it works in JavaScript um, using the function constructor. First, you specify the parameters. It could be any number. It could be just A and B. And then you type in the body. Let's say uh, return A plus B, right? So let's see what happens. Func 7 and say 2 plus 5. And let's see what happens. Let's run this code. A debugger error. It's probably because uh, this has created an error because I needed to specify the parameters using strings, not the actual variable names that I don't really have at this time, at this point. So um, a, b. And let's try to run this uh, example again. So it's not going to do anything because let's assign some value to it. And then we're, we're going to message that value. Let's see what happens. Run. So we got a message box saying 7. It, so it added 2 and 5, just what was specified here in the function's body. And it showed us the result. Probably not many people create functions using the function constructor because it's a lot easier to just do something like this, which is really the same. A plus B. Or even something like this. Thing using the function keyword um, a b return a plus b so it's really the same way I'm just showing you that it's possible to create a function that way and creating anything um, as objects in JavaScript is really important For example let's go back to uh, new object so what happens here is that we just created a, an object of type object it's a blank object and we can start adding something to it an example would be let's say msg uh, one now we can 
alert that out object mg. Just delete those. And the message box at one. One interesting thing about functions in JavaScript is that we can create our own constructors. For example, let's create a constructor const and let's do something like this. Let's define it as a function, a nameless function, but really we just added a name to it. And we could have called this function to execute its contents, but in this example we're going to do something more interesting. Because a function is an object, we can add properties to it. And in order to do that, we can use the this uh, keyword, msg1, for example, and this cat5. Let's say we have five cats. So what we have just created here is a constructor, uh, our own constructor. And in order to create an object of this type, we do this just like we did with previous ones. But here we're going to use the, the name of the constructor we just created. So we just created a custom constructor ourselves, named it const. Uh, notice the uppercase. Uh, it doesn't have to be there. It could have been something like this, lowercase. Oh, const is a <laughs> registered keyword. It's const. So um, here we just uh, initialized an object of our own type. and in order to demonstrate it. These are the default values of this object. So by default, once we initialize the CST object, it will automatically have those values. So let's run this code. As you can see, the message showed one. It's the default uh, value of, in MSG, in the MSG property. What's even more interesting, not only can we add properties like MSG and cats, we can add other functions such as message, for example, and use a nameless function here. Alert uh, MSG equals this MSG plus comma cats equals this cats and let's see what this will output when we go in here and instead of this we're going to go ahead and output that message run this and the message box is saying msg1 and cats5 so we just created a new method for our own constructor and now we're calling it on a new object that we just created and this is pretty much how most, um, probably all, functions work. Uh, they are objects and functions at the same time. The reason for that is that JavaScript allows us to create our own constructors. So, like, like again, we add new object, new function, and it's the same thing, new array. date and here of course our own constructor so all of these constructors were created in the same exact way or at least function in the same way because this one this one function object they are already created for us by JavaScript we can start using them but what's not created yet we can create ourselves and start using our own uh, constructors and they will have properties and methods inside them just like any other one and that's how you can um, add a lot of flexibility to your own programs and you can even extend other functions with your own functionality uh, other constructors in JavaScript that exist you can add your own properties to them and that's pretty much how it works so this concludes this tutorial because it's already getting really long and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching